Hello viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play 7 Days of Skeptic. As it says right here, 7 Days A Skeptic. 7 Days of Skeptic. I am your host, Akamikaris23, in this episode, it is now Day 3, and we're going to find out as much as we can, as much as we can, as fast as we can. Commander, Dr. Somerset? Should I call you Captain now? There'll have to be a proper hearing when we get back to High Command. More likely another officer of high rank will be appointed. And I must say, I find your remark in poor taste. Sorry. Um... Do you suspect anyone? Please, Doctor. As a psychologist, surely you can appreciate why I can't answer that question. I suppose so. Well, that, that's of no help to me, because I'm not a, a licensed psychologist. Your plan is unraveling. You're the murderer. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. She's the murderer. I'm calling it. Day three. She's the murderer. Okay. I really do have a bad feeling about that locker. The locker is old news, Doctor. It was little more than a malicious space debris. Do not concern yourself with it. Even so, Barry dies on the same day it comes aboard. The engines also went down the day it came aboard. Are you saying it could have caused that too? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Do you know? Viewers, tell me. Tell me in the comments. Do you know? Because I don't know. Barry's death was shocking, wasn't it? Indeed. But it is a sign of a good crew to be able to function after such an event. Captain Gibber would have wanted us to... I, I'm still in awe about that name. How do you even pronounce that? Shahar? Shahrahishraha? Shahrahishraha? Anyway, any orders for me? <laughs> Your orders are as always. You are responsible for the crew's mental well-being. Anything else you choose to do for the benefit of the ship is entirely up to you. You are of just of no use to anybody. Thanks, Commander. Whatever. No, no, because I uh, guarantee you I won't allow there to be a next time. Let's talk to Adam. Hey, John. Why won't you come out on Eva? I don't need to. You already did it once. You can do it again. It's a waste of effort for me to go. I thank you. I think you're just making excuses. Why would I want to do that, John? Stop picking on me. Ugh, there's something in my throat. Okay. There's no shame in being scared, Adam. I'm not scared. Who the hell's scared? I'm just concerned about resources is all. Sure. Any thoughts on what happened to Barry? There's something shifty going on. I know that. Did you see how William ran off? I'm sure he knows something. That's enough, Adam. I don't like your attitude. This is a time of stress, and we, should, and we all have to pull together. Cowering could get us all... Hey, back off! Who are you to judge me? I'm not afraid! Alright. Sorry. I'll see you later. So, apparently we are supposed to go and uh, unclog a body. Or something of that matter. Actually, yeah, we're just gonna... I think I'm getting ahead of myself because I already know what I have to do. But I'm just like making sure we have stuff to do in between that time so we get all the stuff. Serana. Hello, Dr. Somerset. 
How are you holding up? Not well. I still can't believe he's dead. How are we going to cope without him? I'm sure Angela can get us can get by as commander for now. Angela has <laughs> could have been a killer. Any of us could have been the killer. Oh my. She's just not very optimistic about this whole thing. So you're saying you could be the killer. I mean, I think that Angela's the killer because just look at her attitude. She's a cunt. But that's not the point. Any theories about Barry? I'm trying not to think about it. If it was one of us, it would have obviously been a random lunatic violence act of some sort. And it means it could happen again. I know. Motiveless crimes are always the hardest to investigate. But I'm concerned about the rest of the crew. I know what you mean. Adam and William both seem like they're scared stiff of something. But Angela isn't bothered at all. Dr. Sem Somerset, I'm flattered that you want to confide this in me. But you are the shrimp's counselor, and, theref and this is therefore your business. I can't help you at all. No, no, I suppose not. Sorry, Enzine. Can you send the distress signal yet? I told you, you need to remove the blockage from the masts. I'll get right on that. So I wasn't getting ahead of myself. I was just thinking back to last episode. Good, good. Jolly, jolly good. That is all. That is all, viewers. Jolly good. Jolly. Ranchers. Oh! Jolly Rancher is also a very good vape flavor. I like it as a vape flavor. Let's open up this airlock. Let's cl cl close the door. Open the closet. Put on the suit. All right. Since we're going back out here, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Plumber Stuff Mario! I thought I was, I was trying to spell Plumber Stuff Mario style, but it didn't work. It didn't work, viewers. It didn't work. But that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Because... We're just gonna... That breathing is just, like, super loud. Can I, like... It's, like, super loud in my headset. That... Is it... Is it... It's like not helping at all, so I'm just gonna put those like that. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Have to uncuff myself and uh, recuff myself before I can go up. Dr. Somerset, do you read me? Do you require any assistance with removing the blockage? Uh, it seems not. Could you withdraw the masts for a second? Certainly. Sarana? Serena? The captain's body isn't here anymore. What? It's gone. I must have been jawed off or something. When the ship's at a standstill? Anyway, we won't... We'll worry about it later. Send the distress signal. It'll take a few minutes for... Serena? Serena, come in, please. Hell. Alright. Well, she's not answering, so... Or something happened of some sort. Oh, there are more steps. Can we go there? Is there anything down here? Because I think we came down... Oh, I see something. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I think I might be able to die here, so... So, uh, what are we gonna name this one? Oh my. Uh. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Um. Oh, oh God, oh, oh no, oh, oh God, it's a good thing I saved. It's a good thing I saved. Oh my gosh, who was not expecting that? Oh wow, yeah. Let's let's uh look at the keyring. I can't get a good look over the edge while I'm attached to the safety rail. Looks like a key caught on the ring. Caught on one of the components. Perhaps the captain dropped it? Well, get it. <laughs> we got the captain's key. Now, <laughs> without dying, sir, can we, uh, go up the steps? Unclip yourself. Reclip yourself. And make your way to the door. Oh god. Oh god, no. No. Really? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother talking about that. I'm really not. But what I am gonna do. is put on this uniform. Yeah. Because we still ain't done with day three. There's still so much to do. Yeah, I don't even know how long. I don't even know. It don't matter. We just... We just gonna do stuff. We just gonna do stuff. Until stuff happens. And then we're gonna get our mind holes blown to smithereens. elevator and go back up to the ops deck. Let's see what happened to Serena. Let's see if she's okay. Because that's what's important. Dr. Somerset, have you seen Serena? I was just about to ask you that. I was talking to her over the communicator. Then she just cut off abruptly. How strange. The trouble is the distress signal still needs to be sent. And only she and the captain knew the communication code. Uh, right. Commander, aren't you concerned for Serena's well-being? Should I be? It seems far likely that she's simply gone on to the toilet or for something to eat. I'll go look for her. See if you can track down the captain's code book, too. All right. Well, we already have his key card, so why not just go ahead and go in his room? Up, oh, look. I don't remember this being here the last time of year, so it looks like a book on a bed. So we'll take the book. And oh, okay. I had to scratch, and I had to scratch it. I'm sorry. I one of the lights at work kind of decided to uh, fall on me while I was cooking, and I've got a really like, it's just more of a scratch now, but it was really bad gash. Like, scared the crap out of me. One of the lights just fell out and hit me. It was kind of... Oh my god. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Bringing flashbacks. Uh... Has Serena turned up yet? Regrettably not. Hmm. Barry's corpse is gone. Excellent. You were click quickly, Doctor. No, I mean, it's gone, and someone else moved it before I could. Are you sure? It could simply have fallen off the masts. Maybe, but it seems so strange. Counselor, please learn to apply logic more often. Any orders for me? Always. Thanks, Commander. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go look for her. So, 
Let's go down to the residential quarters. I think she's in here. So let's. No one home. I think this is the doctor's room, so let's see what he's up to. Leave me alone. William. I said leave. Um. Uh, cancel. Let's go in here. See if she's getting something to eat. No? She, uh. in the shaft? No. Alright. Because I honestly can't remember where she is. If she appears at all. Oh! Surprising twist. Oh, we still haven't looked at that book. Like. Oh, we can't look at the book. That's right. We just have to give her the book. Okay, yeah. Let's well, just go ahead and give her the book. Because. Un unless she's in the escape. Let's look in the escape pod room real quick. See if she's. Okay, no. No, she's not in there. So that means. That she's she's disappeared. Here, I found this book. Is this what we need? Yes, that's the captain's code book. Find the communication authorization code and read it off. Here we go. One one seven seven two. Thank you. This is First Officer Angela Garrett of EMS Mephistopheles. Attention, all ships in the immediate vicinity. We are in an in an urgent need of assistance. Over. Officer Garrett, this is Captain James Lindman of ES, EMA, ES and Charisma. What is the nature of your emergency? Engines dead by unknown means. Captain Barry Chahal has been murdered. All crew members currently suspects. Over. Acknowledged. We are five days travel from your current position. In the meantime, shit tight, boys and girls. Over and out. There. Soon we'll be picked up, and this will all be behind us. Five days? We have to sit and wait for rescue for another five days? When there could be a psychotic killer on board? Previously, Doctor, we were going to sit and wait for rescue indefinitely with a psychotic killer on board. We should be grateful that events have improved. However, my... Gr John! Commander! I saw, I just saw the captain. You found his body? No. I saw him alive. He was down on in the engineering deck. He was walking funny, and his clothes were all covered in blood. Lieutenant, the captain is dead. We all know that. I'm telling you, I saw... Adam, are you absolutely sure you saw what you saw? I mean... Is there absolutely no other explanation for what it was? I don't... I don't know, probably. Counselor, perhaps you should escort the lieutenant back to his quarters. M but I saw... Lieutenant, there is no logical explanation for your claim. You are obviously just tired or overstressed. Let's go, Adam. What was all that about, Adam? The captain is alive, Adam. Damn it, Adam! <laughs> I keep saying Adam. Uh, <laughs> oh, Adam. 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 But he isn't the captain anymore. What are you talking about? The ship has a new captain, John. It's Adam. Adam! Death. Ah! Adam's the new captain. Oh my. But who is this mysterious Adam? What... What will we... What will we do? Well, gentlemen, the distress signal has sent, and we can all do... All can do... Blah, blah. I'm not sure where Serena, where Serena is. She did not come back to our quarters yesterday evening. Oh, God. This is going to turn out badly, isn't it? We will... We have to remain optimistic. It's all very well just saying it. Uh, sorry I'm late. Doctor, nice of you to join us. Uh, yes. What were we talking about? Serena is missing. I was out on Evo checking on the radar masts. 
and I heard some odd noises over the comms, like sounds of a struggle. When we got back in, she was gone. Uh, uh, really? Is someone else seeing a sort of pattern emerging here? I beg your pardon? Well, far be it for me to raise this, but you were the one who found Barry's body. And now you have a first-hand experience of S Serena's encounter, too? Does anyone else think that this is a bit coincidental? Now, wait a minute. Oh, God, just shut up, William. I've got records. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a point. There's no doubt that I was outside when Serena was hit. I'm so sorry, John. Forget it. We just have to worry about Adam. Adam's the one. Yeah, you go back to sick bay. That's all. That's where we need you. We need you there in case we get sick because Adam's doing shit. The doctor seems to be getting worse. It can only be a matter of time before he cracks. We just have to hope we can all hold out for five more days. Still seems mighty suspicious to me. Adam, please don't. I suggest we start searching for Serena. There's still a chance she's perfectly all right. Or Adam got her. But I think I'm going to save... Excuse I, what? Well, f fine. I guess I'll exit the room yet again because apparently we can't. Serena? Um, I'd hate to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but I th think it's day four now, which means it's time for the next episode. So I'll just get back to you guys then. All right, guys. I'll get you on day four.